Now the presidential election, not for a while, but there are still some pretty important things to talk about this election year. And some of those include our local school districts who want to pass mill levies so they can give their teachers higher pay. Tonight, District 49's Board of Education will be deciding if they want to put a measure on the ballot to do just that. And Caroline Peters is joining us live with more on what this mill levy override could mean for voters and how much it would cost them, Caroline. Hey, Bri, good morning. Now, if the board does decide to go through this, they give this the green light. That means that on November's ballot, there would be a measure that could increase property taxes by almost $10 million. So where would all this money go? Well, I was told that if this mill levy passes, District 49 says they'd be able to give their teachers a 7% raise every year for the next seven years. We know what families living in District 49 are wondering. What does $9.9 .9 million mean for me? Well, if the mill levy override passes here, is how the district is breaking it all down. It would be an increase of $4 for every $100,000 in property value. And for the average homeowner, that would be less than a $20 monthly increase. That would be in addition to what they're currently paying in property taxes. That's about $1,500 a year or $130 a month for a home valued at $500,000. And D49 tells us it's important to pass this mill levy because they want their pay to be competitive with other districts. In fact, District 49 says in the bidding war for teacher talent, they're outmatched and outspent because neighboring districts have higher property values and even other salary competitors, people in other industries um, who are working against um, us in terms of what we can do in terms of a salary. So uh, really uh, shoring up and giving a, a, a meaningful way to fund uh, uh, increased pay for our teachers makes sense to us. And there will be opportunity for public comment. That meeting starts tonight at 630 at Creekside Success Center's Peak View Hall right here in District 49. Back to you. Well, thank you, Caroline. And remember that Academy School District 20 in Colorado Springs also wanting to pass a mill levy that would raise $35 million every year. They want to hire armed security for all elementary schools, increase pay for staff, and pay for the upkeep of their aging buildings. District 20 says increasing teacher pay, though, that's their big one. They raised starting pay for teachers, but they're still falling behind other districts across the Front Range. We have neighbors to the north like Boulder and Poudre who are well over $50,000 for their initial starting salaries. District 11, their starting salary is $50,000. And again, we're at $48,800. District 20 does say this would cost the average homeowner an additional $11,000 or $11 a month. Not $11,000 a month. Not sure anyone could quite afford that, so $11 a month.